Hey guys and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be talking about a product that I received in my November Ipsy subscription and I know we're part way like more than halfway into December which is crazy but I wanted to talk a little bit about this product not so much for the product but more for the brand which I haven't reviewed on my channel before. If you're watching one of my reviews for the first time I do talk a little bit about the company. I will then talk about the product and I will then give you my review. I'm also going to put it on because I don't have any brow product on yet. I have been using this for a couple of weeks so I do have an informed opinion about it or at least a opinion formed on using it for a couple of weeks so if you want to watch one part of this video and not others I will put timestamps down below so you can skip forward to whatever part of the video you want to watch and let's start talking a little bit about Trustique. Uh, I had seen this brand in a lot of subscription boxes that's mostly where I'd seen it before and I'd seen like eyeshadow pencils, lip pencils, maybe lipstick. Um, so I didn't really know much about it. To be quite honest, on first impression, I thought this was a like more drugstore kind of brand. Um, and then I started looking into it a little bit more. So there is something kind of neat and a neat point of view about this company. It's called Tristique, which is a little bit of a play on the word uh, très chic and a little bit of the word play on the word stique which is French for stick, because everything in this brand is a stick or a crayon or a pencil type product. So that's their shtick, is sticks, if you will. <laughs> Terrible joke, I know, I'm sorry. It was founded in mid-2015 by Jack and Jen, according to their website. Between the two of them, they have 22 years of experience in the cosmetic industry, beauty industry, and like a lot of brands, they're talking about busy women on the go, wanting things that are easy to use, and they came up with a whole set of these stick, pencil, crayon, makeup products that they say you can take on the go and will do a five minute uh, makeup look. So I think in some ways this is really neat. I think it's good to have a point of view, like what makes you different? There's so many cosmetic brands that are starting lately, then what really distinguishes you from anybody else? And it is neat that they have a, they have a shtick, they have a thing where everything looks like this, just in different thicknesses. So they do have base products, they do have eye products, eyebrows, uh, they do have um, like lip products. Uh, so let's let's take a look at this a little closer though. This is obviously, maybe not obviously, this is a uh, sample size product. When you get the larger one of this, it uh, it is slightly different from this. But when you look through the different products that they have, it's not inexpensive. I don't know why I got that impression. So, you know, when you look at their um, foundation type product, which they don't call a foundation, they call it a tinted moisturizer. When you look at their uh, highlight products, their bronzer products, you know, they're all fairly pricey. Um, the few things they talk about having for innovation is that everything is in a stick product, which is an innovation itself, but they also have these snap-on tools. So on the uh, base face product, the tinted moisturizer, you're going to have this little blending sponge on the end of it. On the bronzer stick and the highlight stick, you have this little buffing brush on the end of it. Uh, on a lot of the products, including the eyeliner and the eyeshadow, you get these sort of little buffer sticks on the end of it, or smudger sticks, I should say. And then they also have sort of a click on, um, uh, blotting paper that you can dispense blotting paper from. So I think it's neat, but I haven't tried these products and I find it a little questionable. I think it's a cool on the go idea. I think these should be marketed like as travel products because I think in terms of fixing up mistakes on the go, touching things up, that sounds perfect. But when you look at these products in terms of actually putting them on your face, that's a tiny little sponge. And how hard is that little sponge going to be um, when you're actually trying to blend across your entire face. How good is that little buffer brush going to work? Uh, and what I do find interesting, I watched a video of the founder going through the products. Um, they said like one of the great things is that you click the like tool, like the buffer brush or the smudger or the uh, sponge off the end uh, so that you can replace it. And they kept saying when it gets dirty, which leads me to think that the tools aren't cleanable they're expecting you to throw it out and buy another one, which is both costly, they're not expensive tools, they're only about $5 each to refit, but 
how often are you replacing it? And that's just adding unnecessary waste. Um, so that was one of my questions about it. I do like that they're going for innovation. There's just a couple of things that don't lead me to believe it would be my everyday choice for makeup products. Also, they say you can do a five minute face, which sounds awesome, but they do not have any kind of powder type products because it's not in a stick. Now they do give you like a uh, mattifying stick product and those blotter papers, but there's nothing to set your face with and they don't give you any kind of mascara product. And I don't know about you, but even when I'm doing a very simple look like I did today, I still feel like I need to finish it off with mascara most of the time. So there are a couple things that are lacking in their line where I don't really feel like you could do a complete full face with it. So let's talk about this brow pencil in particular, and this is the mini brow pencil. Uh, this is different than the full size one. This one just has a triangular shaped pencil at the end of it. If you did get this in the full size, on the other end it would also have a brow gel on a spoolie so that you could also keep your brows in place. Uh, but this is the smaller version. The large size version is $28 American, which is pricey in my opinion. Um, and the travel size one is $10. Now one of the nice things is that a lot of their products come in minis. So even though the larger size ones are quite pricey, you can buy smaller ones that is going to let you try the products at more of a drugstore level price, you're just going to get less of the product. So this is in the shade Americano. They have three shades of brow products, and this one is the middle one. There's Latte, which is lighter, and there is Espresso, which is deeper. Everything from the company, including this, is cruelty-free, and this is made in Italy. I think that's everything I have to tell you about a brow product, so I'm going to put it on and then also tell you my thoughts on it. I did a very light makeup look today, and I'll tell you in a moment what I have on the rest of my face, but let me just finish this off because I don't have a spoolie on the product itself. I'm just going to brush my brows a little bit with a different spoolie. So I've rolled out the triangle tip there a little bit, and uh, I have pretty full brows. So I'm not trying to get like a lot of um, filling in going, just to sort of fill in a few spaces. There we go, a little bit bold, but that is how it ended up looking. Before I end up giving you my final thoughts, I'll just tell you what's on the rest of my face. I started out priming with my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. This is just the original Photo Finish Primer. I then went in with my Maybelline Dream Cushion. This is in the shade Ivory. Not necessarily my favorite, it's very light coverage, but it's easy and it's quick when I am trying to get out the door like I am today. For concealer, I use the Joe Fresh Illuminating Concealer. Uh, this is in the shade Light. And I set that with the Maybelline Fit Me Powder in 100 Translucent, just under my eyes. Uh, and then I used my Rimmel Stay Matte in Buff Beige over the rest of my face. It gives me a little bit more coverage and keeps me matte through the day. On my cheeks, I used my Studio Makeup Luminizing Loose Blush and then highlight it with my Physicians Formula Shimmer Brick. And this one is in Natural Nude. For my eyes, I didn't do any eye makeup other than uh, curling my lashes and putting on some of my Pure Fully Charged Mascara. And what really pulled this look together was my Tardis uh, lip paint, and this is in the shade FOMO. So, do I think this is worth the money? No. <laughs> I, I don't find it does anything so spectacular that like a brow product from um, the drugstore couldn't do. Like there's some good NYX brow products. I think it's Maybelline has some little micro pencils. I find this to be quite dry and hard to get pigment out of. Now I know a lot of people don't want, including me, don't want an eyebrow pencil that is so soft and creamy that it's just like a block of eyebrows. You do want to be able to do individual little hairs, but at the same time this is so dry I find I'm pushing and like scraping it against my skin to try to get the color to come out of it. And there's just nothing all that special about it that I would recommend you buy this little mini of product which, you know, doesn't have, I mean, it's a brow product, it'll last a long time, but it's about that much product overall. Like 10 bucks you're gonna pay American just for that. Uh, and then the full one is quite expensive, so no. I mean, I don't think it does a bad job, it does do something to my brows, but I just don't think it's worth it. 
for a brow product. I just don't. I think there are better things you can get out there, the ones that I mentioned from the drugstore, and I think if you're going to spend like $30 American on a brow product, then I would go into some of the Anastasia brow products, Anastasia Beverly Hills brow products, which I personally never use, but I know that they are sort of like top of the line brow products. Uh, I just, that's what I think, is I don't think that it is necessarily worth it. I think if anything, if I was looking at the Tristique products, I would probably look at their lip products. I think those seem the most interesting. Maybe some of their um, bronzer products, but I just don't think that the brow product does it for me, unfortunately. They do have another brow pencil, uh, which is more like a micro pencil. I can't speak to that one but I wasn't so thrilled about this. So that is my review. I would love to hear from you if you receive this product, what you think of it, what you look for in a brow product, what other brow products I should try. I have naturally full brows, so I don't have to really fill them in as much as some people do. Um, but leave all that in the comments. I do try to respond to every comment that I get, and I love hearing from you guys. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, you can do so by clicking on my face right here. I will put one of my other videos right here, and I think that's all for today. So I do hope you enjoyed this, learning a little bit more about this company and uh, chatting about it a little bit together. Thank you so much for joining me, and I will see you again next time. Bye.